Okay, now we have question number five from the um, International A Level Pure Mathematics 1 mock exam that I gave my students. And this question here is uh, concerning trigonometry as well as thirds. And we can see here that we're given a question where we told some of the sides and angles in a triangle, ABC. And we have to show that the exact value of x is 9 plus root 6 over 20. Okay, so what we've got to do is the following. Okay, so the exact value of x. So we know these pieces of information. Mm -hmm. And we need to find that the, the exact value of x is 9 root 6 over 20. Okay, so now what we can do is we can use the sign rule here. Um, we can use the sign rule here because we can relate these together using the sign rule because we can see that this angle here has to be 180 minus these two. Why do I? Why am I concerned about this angle? Because I, I need pairs of opposites for the sign rule. So 8x minus 3 and 120 degrees are opposites and 4x minus 1 and this angle are also opposites. So if I know what this angle is, I can, I can, uh, I can make a connection between these given uh, values and um, using the sign rule, okay? So this angle here is 180 minus 120 plus 15, so 180 minus 135, which is 45 degrees, okay? So that makes sense because you need an angle which is you're going to give us an exact answer. Okay, so now, using the sign rule, okay, by the sign rule, we can say that the opposites are <clears throat> opposite angles to the sine of the angle divided by the side opposite it are, is going to be the same. So this and this. So we can say that the sine, let, let's put the, the, num, the lengths on top. 8x minus 3 over the sine of 120 will give me exactly the same ratio as 4x minus 1 over the sine of 45. Okay, so we've got to basically make x equal this from here. Now the sine of 120 is the same as the sine of 60, okay, which is going to give you root 3 over 2. Okay, and if you're not sure, you can just, just put it in your calculator. It's not a big deal. Okay, uh, de degree mode, so we say the sine of 120 is going to be root 3 over 2, as you can see here, and we want to keep it in this form. And the sine of 45 is root 2 over 2, okay? And that's what your calculator will tell you if you did it. You should know this, these exact values by now that's root 2 over 2 so let me first of all um, rearrange this so I have sine 45 sine 45 times 8x minus 3 just cross multiplying equals sine 120 times 4x minus 1 as we just said sine 45 is root 2 over 2 times 8x minus 3 equals and sine 120 is root 3 over 2 times 4x minus 1. Okay, so we can cancel out these 2's. Multiply both sides by 2. And now what we're going to do is we're going to expand these brackets so that we can collect together the x terms on one side and the non-x terms on the other. So we can make some space here. So I'm going to have eight times 8x eight times root 2 minus 3 times root 2 on this side equals I'll have 4x times root 3 minus root 3 on this side. Now I want to bring the x terms on one side and the non-x terms on the other side so I have 8x times root 2 minus 4x times root 3 equals uh, 3 root 2 minus root 3. I've just written that first because there's a minus there so I've added root 3 uh, added root 3 root 2 on both sides as well. Okay, so now I can't combine these together because they have different numbers under the third, but what I can do is I can take out the common factor of x. I want to find x in the end, so I'll just take out x because I want to find what x is in the end. So I'll have x and I'll have 8 root 2 minus 4 root 3 and that's equal to 3 root 2 minus root 3. So x is going to equal 3 root 2 minus root 3 over 8 root 2 minus 4 root 3. 
me simplify that a bit. I'm neat in the upper mean. Minus 4 times root 3. Okay, so now our answer can't be left in this form because they want to, they want it to, to they want us to get exactly this form. So let's see how that's gonna happen. It looks like it's not gonna happen the way it looks here, but you'll be surprised. So basically what we need to do here is rationalize the denominators. We have x equals 3 root 2 minus root 3. I'll put this over and I'll take out the common factor of 4 just to make it a bit simpler. So 4 times 2 root 2 minus root 3. That just makes what I'm going to do next a bit easier um, because you're dealing with smaller numbers. So what I have to do is multiply the denominator by 2 root 2 plus root 3. That way, you'll rationalize the denominator and it'll maybe start looking like what's supposed to make it look like. But if, you're, if I multiply the denominator by something, I must multiply the numerator by exactly the same thing. Okay. So let's see what happens when we do this. We have 3 root 2 times 2 root 2. So 3 times 2 is 6 and root 2 times root 2 is 2. Then we've got 3 root 2 times root 3, which is going to give you uh, plus 3 root 6 and then we've got minus root 3 times 2 root 2 which is minus 2 root 6 minus 2 root 6 and then we're going to have minus root 3 plus root 3 which is going to give you um, plus 3 sorry minus 3 it's going to be minus 3 isn't it Okay, over, and this will give us 4 times, and you're going to have 2 root 2 times 2 root 2, which is 4 times 2, that's 4 times 2, plus 2 root 6, as we know, the other one's going to be minus 2 root 6, okay, that's the whole reason why we did it, to get rid of that said, okay, and then minus 3 at the end, so let's see if it gets us what we're supposed to get. Let me get rid of a couple of these here. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> now, we can continue and hopefully get what we need to get. Okay, so we're going to have on the top 12. Um, 12 minus, let me just do it in one go. 6 times 2 is 12, minus 3 is 9. That looks familiar. I think that's so far so good. Um, and you're going to have plus 3 root 6 minus 2 root 6, which is plus root 6. And underneath we're going to have uh, 4 times, and you're going to have, this will become 0. And that's going to be 8 minus 3, which is 5. 4 times 5. So we're left with 9 plus root 6 over 20 and there we have the answer I think that is exactly as we required 9 plus root 6 over 20 what did we get 9 plus root 6 over 20 okay so that's part A done and okay for now for part B um, <clears throat> In fact, part B is a question where you didn't actually have to know how to do part A. Supposing you didn't get 9 plus root 6 over 20, well, they've told you what it is. And they've asked us here to find the area of the triangle um, ABC, giving you answers to two decimal places. So we know that the area of a triangle, when we don't know the vertical height, is given by a half AB sine C, where A and B are two sides that make the angle C that we know. So in this case, this has to be the angle because we know the two sides here that make it. We can't use 45, nor can we use 120 because we don't know this side. So the only option for us is to use um, this angle and these two sides as our angle and our sides. So the area is going to be a half times, we're going to have A, let's say that's 4x minus 1, times and B, which is 8x minus 3, times the sine of 15 degrees. And here, Thankfully, it tells us to find our answers correct to two decimal places. So we could just simply put that value in at this stage. So you have four times 
9 plus root 6 over 20 okay minus 1 times 8 9 plus root 6 over 20 minus 1 and times the sine 15 oops something there times sine 15 okay so we have a half times 4x minus 1 times 8x minus 3 mistake there 8x minus 3 times sine 15 always good to make a quick check before you continue that was 8x minus 3 and I put minus 1 okay times sine 15 so we got to just stick this in our calculator okay we've got to stick this in our calculator and see what comes up so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the following um, first of all I'm going to take 9 plus root 6 over 20 and I'm going to store that Okay, so I'll store that as oops, I'll store that as a hold on one second. So okay, I'll store that as a. Then I'm going to do half. So I'll do, I'll do sine fifteen over two. Uh, sine fifteen. Make sure I'm in degree mode, which I am. Over two. And that's going to be multiplied by um, 4 times what I stored as, so we're going to go to recall, A, minus 1, close that bracket, open a new bracket, then 8 times what I stored as A, so shift, recall, A, um, that's minus 3. And I've already used the sign 15 over there, so that's fine. The answer should come out as 0 0.2637. 0 0.2637. 0 0.2637. And they want it to two decimal places, so we have to say 0 0.26 square units. And there we have our answer.